Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. This is the situation where we are. This is the situation where you are. And it is easier to be on the opposite side. To say there is nothing on this field. It is easier to be on this side. Those of us who are trying to be on this side, trying to help people visualize what can come up out of this seed, are having it difficult. And unfortunately, the UPND don't seem to be uh, recognizing this part or realizing this, this aspect. Or to be appreciative for that matter. They don't. They don't. Instead, I mean, they are treating uh, even some of us who are trying to be on their side to help them to make people see that there is a seed that they are planting which will germinate. It is, it is very difficult for them. They are, not, they are not seeing it. And they are not appreciating. I, for one, am very disappointed. I, for one, I am very disappointed. And this is me being very honest because me, I do. I try to be as transparent as I can be. I try to be as transparent as I can be. For a long time now, I've been almost begging the UPND to say, hello guys, can we work together? Hello guys, can I help you? And they are not. And now my friends in the opposite side, they are even laughing at me to say, we told you. You think that these guys can embrace you. You think that these guys can give you a job. You think that these guys can work with you. They are laughing at me. They are laughing at me. But I will be patient a little bit longer. I will be... You hear my English very well. I will be patient a little bit longer. I know some people might be thinking to say... Uh, Tayali is doing this because of the court cases. I've told you, me, I'm not a criminal. I'm not a criminal. I've not committed a crime. I can run through all my cases. I can run through all my cases. Those cases, those cases, all things, all things being equal, there is no way I can be convicted. All things being equal, there is no way I can be convicted. I have no case even if some of you, you jump to say, ah, what about that case? What about that? There is no case. There is no case. Those of you who think that, you know, I do this because I'm scared of the case, the court cases. There is no case that really can, uh, can, can pass the test of me being convicted. Because all the cases that come before the court, they must pass a test for them, you know, to qualify to have somebody jailed. I've got criminal cases, but those criminal cases, in all honesty, if you really look at it from the legal point of view, I have no case that can send me to jail. I have no case that can send me to jail. But nonetheless, let me tell you this. Nonetheless, let me tell you this. Even if that was the case, me, I'm a freedom fighter. Me, I'm a freedom fighter. Me, I'm an activist. And when you are an activist, when you are a freedom fighter, when you are an economic fighter, you are an advocate, you should not fear to go to jail. Me, as Tari, as an advocate, as a public lawyer, I am not scared to go to jail. No one, no, I mean, jails, there are people right now as we talk, there are people in jail. There are people in jail, they are breathing. They are breathing. And even if I were to die, I don't know what is on the other side. So why should I fear? I don't even fear death. Because I don't know what is on the other side. So don't think that I can be intimidated by, you know, this issue of going to, to, to jail. No. 
I hate going to court every day because it's very inconveniencing. To some extent, I even feel like, you know, I wish some of these cases would take two days. Whether they convict you or they acquit you, that's it. At least you move on. I hate this process of going to court, going to court, going to court. I hate that process. I don't fear jail. I don't fear jail. I don't fear jail. Of course, I mean, you think about your family and so on and so forth. But, you know, at the end of the day, my wife, my children, it's only God who looks after them. Because even now, whatever I give them is not, is not really from me. It's from God. So, yes, I could be in jail, but somehow, somehow, God will provide for my family. I strongly believe that. I strongly believe that. You can take me to jail, but God will provide for my family. And whatever has to happen, some of you think, hey, your wife, whatever, whatever. I mean, if my wife has to get married, if my wife has to go back to Ethiopia, I mean, then that, that, that's what, just what it was. That's all. It's not that, it's something that I would worry. No, forget it. Forget it. So please, I'm just trying to tell you to say, whatever goodwill that we are trying to show to you, PND, please don't mistake it to say, no, because Tayali has got court cases and that's why and whatever, whatever, whatever. All things being equal, there is no case that scares me to say this. Because even if I go to jail, I will not go to jail with my head down to say I committed a crime. No. No, me have not committed a crime. I haven't. I haven't committed a crime. That is number one. Number two, even if I were to go to jail, I am not scared of going to jail. I've been in jail. I've seen the life in jail. And the life in jail is nothing that is nothing compared to what I've gone through. I have suffered such that I would wish to even just eat that beans that is saved in prison. I have suffered. God trained me that way. I used to be on the street, sleeping on the street. In the rain season, sleeping on the street. It is raining and all the whole rain pours on you. God prepared me for, he, for, 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 for hard life. Me, this life, this hard life and whatever, whatever, is nothing difficult for me. That's why you see me eating everywhere in the market, being with whatever, because God prepared me for, you know, that hard life. This life of whatever, whatever, good life, it's not for me. It's not for me. I live in this house and the comfort that it provides, barely because of my children. Because of my children. But otherwise, on my own, Ndala, I can be Mugeto, Mkompound, Kwisa, Kwisa. I would survive. So Mujele, I can survive. I can survive. Yes, of course, when, 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 when I'm helping UPND or any other you know, political party, definitely, I also need help in terms of uh, material, uh, in terms of finances. That, because it's a job. What I'm doing here is a job. In, the, in case you don't realize, it is a job. It is a job, and you cannot deny me, you cannot deny this fact that this job, I am good at it. I am good at it. Yes, my numbers have dropped because I'm not talking these days. I'm not talking as I used to talk. But if I get back to my old self of talking, numbers would peak here. Numbers would peak. It would not take me more than one week to bring back the numbers to, you know, high levels. And of course, I know I, uh, me start talking and bringing those numbers up will mean police knocking on my door. There is nothing police arresting you as a politician, as an activist. It is not a loss. Police arresting you, it is not a loss. You get the benefit of the publicity that goes with arrests, that goes with you being detained. So everything from my point of view, it is calculated. And even when I'm doing, even if I start talking here, knowing that the police will come for me, I will know, I mean, what I have to bear in terms of what I have to suffer. But I will know also the benefit that will come with it. 
So whenever you PND in short, is that please don't take us for granted when we refrain, when we try to be good with you. We are refraining. There are a number of wrong things that are happening in this country. There are a number of issues that we can pick up, that we can, we can sensationalize, that we can inflame. There are a number of them. A number of issues that we can inflame to a point that you'll be like, what? There are a number of cases. There are a number of issues. But you know, you look at it to say, no, we want to build this country. We want to help these people. So you avoid those issues. You avoid those issues. But as we are avoiding those issues, what is UPND doing? UPND keep on making grave mistakes. Grave mistakes. Mistakes which are so apparent for anyone to see. For anyone to see. But I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters in UPND, that please don't take people for, for fools. Don't take people for fools. I don't understand why you are doing some of these things. Me, I don't understand why you are doing some of these things. Much as you may feel the comfort that, you know, uh, uh, you have managed to silence a number of voices. Remember, the voice of Chirifa Tahali is not as loud as the voice of the collective, collective voice of the Zambian people. My voice is not as strong compared to the collective voice of the Zambian people out there. I have said it here that being in power is not the end in itself. Being in power is not the end in itself. And the power that you enjoy whilst you are there is not, is not infinite. It is limited. Being in power is not the end in itself. You need to deliver to the people. You need to respect people. You don't have to be arrogant. You need to show people that you appreciate them for putting you in power. But by you PND, what you're doing, you are not showing that gesture that you are respecting the people, that you want to deliver to the people. But instead, you are showing arrogance. And you are not able to explain clearly what is it that you are doing to the people. That is very dangerous. That is very dangerous. And then, you also have to understand that whilst you have this power, your power is not infinite. It's not infinite. It is finite. Meaning it's limited. It's limited. In those offices where you are, they were other people. And when you get into that office, it is like what Rajtim Kuru said. Political power, political office is like a public toilet. You go in, others are outside waiting for you to come out. That is exactly what it is. You are in there today. Believe you me, there is a time when you are going to go out. How long you stay there depends on your attitude. How long you stay there depends on your attitude. If you put up an attitude of arrogance, if you put up an attitude of not being uh, grateful to the people that put you there, you would not last. You will live very short. It is very possible for UPND, it is very possible for President Daka in the to leave office within this term. It is very possible. It is very possible. Don't think it is impossible. Don't think it is impossible. It is very possible. There were other people there. There was Vakaunda there. <coughs> there was Vakaunda there. There was Vachiluba. Mamonawasa death took him. But Ba'ara B came in. And Ba'ara B, if you look at the economical indicators of that time, things were looking very good. And he invested in his political campaign. But he went. Ba'asata, of course, death took him. But Ed Galungu, when he left in 2021, he never thought he would go. And, you know, a lot of people didn't believe he would go. He never thought he would go. I don't think that Ed Galunga up to today, he believes that Zambian people kicked him out the way they did. It is very possible for our president 
haka inde ichile. Matugo, just like others went. And not even later. It is very possible in 2026. It's very possible. The time that they have is between now and 2026. It was basically saying that whenever you PND, don't take for granted the goodwill of the people. The, that is the Zambian people. Uh, the Zambian people. The Zambian people are very good. If you really just deliver on the Zambian people, uh, Zambian people are not difficult. The Zambian people are not difficult. I strongly believe that myself, when I will be president, I think I will do very well. I think I will do very well. Because all you need to do with Zamb Zambians are not difficult. Zambians are not difficult. They are the most easy people uh, to, you know, to, to lead on. They are most, they are very, very easy people. Zambians are not difficult. You know, when you talk about Zambia, I mean, um, Zambian finish a fire, fiakulia, just like any, any normal human beings, we want food. But whilst in other places, in other countries, when you talk about food, it is complex. They talk about, they look for so many things. For example, if you talk about Ethiopia and you talk about food, they, I mean, they talk about so many things. If you talk about, uh, uh, if you talk about Uganda, for example, I mean, people eat different foods there. They eat different food. If you talk about, um, uh, you know, even Rwanda, people eat different things there. They eat, uh, they eat uh, maize, they eat uh, banana, they eat milk. It's a little bit complex. But for Zambia, Ndala, one step of food, one step of food, milli meal. That's all. That's all. Zambia is easy to manage. One step of food, Ndala. One step of food. Zambia is one step of food. And then, on top of that, there are only 20 million people. There are not many people. There are not many people. And we have a big country, a vast country. So this country, from my point of view, I have never been a president yet. But I'm telling you, when I visualize myself as a leader, I don't see this country to be difficult. I don't see Zambians to be difficult. But, so, currently with what UPND is going on, with what is going on with UPND, ah, I don't know, me, I don't know whether these people are listening, they are watching to the people. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm saying, please, don't, don't lose the goodwill of the Zambian people. Don't lose the goodwill of people like myself. Don't lose the goodwill of people like myself. I may be here and you may dismiss me to say, who is Tayali? But trust me, people like me contribute. People like me set narratives in this country. People like me set narratives in this country. Some of these things that happen in this country, you'll be discussing them, discussing them, and you don't even know where they have come from. But some of us who craft them and bring them out, we know. A lot of you discuss our issues, our agenda. Our agenda, and I tampa, na I tampa so agenda, pa, and a lot of you, mwa ingira mwa mwambo, kulala, mwa mwambo, kulala, mwa mwambo, kulala, my agenda mwa ingira mu. Mule ingira mu, mule agenda, and I come out, I set an agenda, I set a narrative, and you go with it. You go with it. I do come in over an issue, I jump in, and set the narrative. Now, Fikonesh and not Fikonesh, I Eh? Pari ishire God ya, pa ishu ya God. Mida ishu ya God ya, ishitike kwe ya pot. Pirikiti, 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 pirikiti. Yo, ni a church, ni a church. I came in. It's not a church. I came in. Before anyone could talk, I came in. And today, HH remains clean. Of course, he was innocent. He was not part of this. As much as whatever, he was not part of it. But if I had not spoken, HH by today would have still remained to be a person that was involved in that good scandal. I talk about some of these things to say, look, I, this thing 
will not go anywhere. And indeed, it comes to pass. So many things. The other day, I was actually looking at the constitutional, a constitutional issue during the time of Assad. I said, he constitutionally, he, it's not ready. And the people rose against me. No, what, what, hey, you have been paid. But here we are. Here we are. 15 years later, we are still grappling with the constitution. So, basically what I'm saying is that it is wrong for the UPND to ignore people like myself. It is wrong. It is wrong. And, and, and it is wrong for them to think that, you know, they can contain some of us by simply intimidating us with whatever, whatever. You can't. A person like me, even when you put me in jail, I'll be speaking. I'll be speaking. I'm in jail, but I'm speaking. How am I going to be speaking? Because people will know that Tayali has been jailed because of talking. And people who sympathize with me, they can be five, they can be ten, but those will add value to the numbers that UPND will get. And I'm not the only one. I do recognize, me, I do recognize other people of influence in society. And that is part of leadership. Leadership, you should be able to recognize who has a voice. And me, I recognize people with a voice. Today I spoke about Mary Butte, and some of you were laughing around. Look at Mary Butte. Mary Butte is not a is not a is not a joker. It's not a pushover. That woman, that woman can make can make an MP win an election. That woman can make a president win an election. That woman, Mary Butte. Even that Chela Tukut, as much as I say this, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. I tell you, politics and yeah, you are funny. Politics, they are one. That Chela Tukuta, you think that ah, is useless and whatever, whatever. He can make, he can contribute to people, you know, going in a certain direction. There are many people. Other people were talking about Muzukanji. Muzukanji. I know the power of Muzukanji. I know. Me, I know the power of Muzukanji. Don't think I'm a fool. I'm not a fool. I know. Even you know that you are my Uri ama yo uri wa ni kani uri upe paudi, eh? Upe pa mama tangu uri wa kula ni kani kuvula, eh? Eh? Lily, all those people, look at Lily. Lily has numbers. He has following. Muku pe pa kwako mule mene ngale isale pe pare pe pare pe pare nda. He has following. She has following. Eh? Lily banks. Hmm? Alala nde chungu 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 chungu. Bala bala nde chungu bala mukong. Respect people like that. Linda Banks. Res respect that woman. Respect that woman. And my teacher, of course, eh? Queen Mpumi. Eh? Queen Mpumi, very dedicated woman. Very dedicated woman. Every day she comes. She comes. Those people, respect them. Respect them. Don't ignore such people. But whoever, who is even in charge of this kind of things, who is even in charge of PND? Who even pays attention? Me, I pay attention to all these people that I'm talking about. I pay attention to Queen Impumi. I pay attention to Linda Banks. I pay attention to Midi. I pay attention to Muzukanji. I pay attention even Evanka. Evanka uriomu wa ichewudi. Alala ndala tukana ndu watevu watevu ndeye mewe chinka. Uriya Evanka uriya. Bala mukonka. Bala mukonka. Bala mukonka. Bala mukonka. Bala mukonka. Bala mukonka. And I'm a slave queen, what a voter. You know, if you, if you think I'm a slave queen, they are nothing. I'm a slave queen, but they are very important. They meet big people. People that you cannot go and campaign to. So all these people, pay attention to them. Pay attention to them. Who is paying attention in UPND? Who is paying attention? I'm telling you, politics, see, they have an and if you think, because now you have power, and that's it, you are ignoring the general public in terms of what they are saying. You are ignoring people that have voices. It might not be so good, eh? It might not be so good. Then now, you are even picking up quarrels even with the church, church leaders. Who picks up quarrels with the church leaders? How do you pick quarrels with church leaders? How do you ignore the, the bishops when they say, we want an apology from, from Baimenda? How do you ignore? 
because UPND Secretary General by Menda, you are ignoring the call of the bishops to say, you know, he has never apologized. Basically, they are saying apologize, and you want to ignore that. You want to ignore that. Other people, you know, civil society, shan shan, valera and valera and oh, democratic space is shrinking, democratic space is shrinking. As they are saying that, you go and block a, the memorial of Tutu Angulube. They are saying democratic space is shrinking. You go and block the, 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 the memorial of Tutu Angulube. No, democratic space is shrinking. You go and stop a a a de Mwenda at a press conference. Why are you stopping Kason de Mwenda from having a press conference? How? When do when do politicians ask for a permit, you know, to hold a press conference? How many times did the HH hold a press conference? Hold press conferences? You know, a, a, a backed by so many cadres. How many times? So if you were complaining to say there was no democracy during PF, but you could hold a press conference, and here is Kasondo Mwenda, want to have a press conference, you go and arrest him. And you go and you are talking about no freedom of the freedom of the media, freedom of the media, freedom of expression. You go and get all the media, media, uh, 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 media personnel and ask them to delete the footage. Hello, look at you, look, I mean, you are basically signing off. We were trying to say, no, we are trying to defend you. Wow, we are trying to defend you to say, no, democratic space is okay, democratic space, and you are doing these kind of things. Honestly. And look, these other people, these other people, like musicians, they have a huge influence. They may not release songs, but they have an influence. They have an influence. This boy, your maps, this boy is loved. Country-wise and beyond. This is not a small boy. Your maps is not a small boy. Your maps is not a small boy. Your maps is in the league of Vena Davido. Vena when a, a, plat, a platinum. Is it platinum? Yes. Those guys, that guy from Tanzania. He's in the big leagues. He's in the big leagues. Go out there and listen what people say about your maps. They respect him. They know your maps. Even in Ethiopia, Ethiopia is very difficult to penetrate in terms of music. But I went to Ethiopia. I heard your maps song. In Ethiopia, you can imagine. In Ethiopia... Your maps, if you know Ethiopia, Ethiopia is, is a closed state. They listen to their music, they speak their language, they have their own time, they have their own food, they have their own whatever. Even their attitude, they are just different, Ethiopia. But I went to, I went to Ethiopia and I hate your maps being played in a club. But not to go to a club. Mu club so bali shayo maps na dawa in eh yo maps mu Ethiopia bali disha and this is the guy that you want to treat like he's a small boy he cannot afford a GX no the GX that he had he was keeping it for somebody else why do you want to embarrass this guy like this why are you embarrassing him like this what in image are we giving we see these other guys in other countries, you know, I mean, showing off big properties, vehicles, houses. I mean, they, they talk about private jets. That's what they talk about. They talk about private jets. But here in Zambia, you are following this guy because of a GX. How much is a GX? How much is a GX? That you should follow him and embarrass him in the manner that you are doing. These things, Vane, they are not good. They are not good. And we are not making so much noise. 
You have to know, I want to tell you, you have to know that we are refraining. We are refraining. There are so many talking points that we can touch on. Even this fight against corruption, really, what are you doing with it? What are you doing with this fight against corruption? What are you doing with it? How many properties have you seized? How many bank accounts have you seized? How many people have you embarrassed? But let's see what is happening in the courts. Let's see what is happening in the courts. Some of us will go to court, we hear the evidence that is adduced. I'm sorry to tell you that this fight against corruption is the worst that I've ever seen in this country. I'm telling you, this, this fight against corruption is the worst that I've ever seen in this country. Because most of these cases really, all things being equal, the evidence that is being adduced in those courts, you wonder to say, whichever state, did they even investigate? Whichever state, did they even have a pre-trial, what is called a pre-trial? It is an embarrassment with the witnesses that you are bringing in our courts. I'm not saying that they didn't steal, by the way. Money was stolen. There are people that stole. There are people that stole, that's for sure. But... The state is messing up most of these cases. The state is messing up most of these cases. The whatever Ngandiba state, but you are messing up the cases. All things being equal, so properly, properly, so I'm a judges, I'm a magistrate, they are really looking at cases on merit. Most of these cases are going to be acquitted. Even in cases where you know that but when you hear the witnesses, Witnesses coming to testify on hearsay. Witnesses coming to testify on hearsay. Hey, this one told me Chakuti. Hey, this one told me Chakuti. Bushe, did you see the money? No, I didn't see it. But how, so what are you talking about? Hey, no, because he told me. Hey, how much was the money? Hey, it was the hey, Chakuti Chakuti million. Chakuti Chakuti million. Did you lay your hands on these millions? No, I didn't. Did you see this person getting the money? No, I didn't. Are we people going to be convicted? How are you going to convict people like that? Even when we know that, yes, a poverty even that I'm up. But when your witnesses are testifying, it is an embarrassment. It is an embarrassment. And you have a number. Number, let's say, you have a deki, the anti-corruption commission. You are very sensational. Very sensational. Very sensational. It is not the first time that you are coming up with such a, a, a you know, sexy news. Hey, 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 uh, your maps was just keeping a car for somebody and whatever, whatever, whatever. It is not the first time. There was a story here of a bank where Tassila was involved. Tassila owns a bank. He bought a bank when she was just a counselor. Where did that story go? Where did that story go? Where did you go with that story? There was a Jitotera case. Hey, Jitotera, hey, Jitotera, Jitotera, Jitotera. Where is that case? Where have you ended up with it? You have lost the case. You lost the case. There are many cases that I can talk about, that I can point to. Now you are, you are, you are on this your maps, whatever, whatever. And I want to tell you, even there was this gold scam. Hey, gold scam. Hey, gold scam. Hey, hey, hey. Where is the gold scam issue? Where is the gold scam issue? Because you like sensationalizing. But that man who is there, that director who is CC, I want Dala to tell you the truth. I'm sorry. I've stopped talking. I've stopped talking because I want peace. But really, that man plays to, to the garage. The anti-corruption commission, he plays no, that the, the plan cannot move. I am unless and whatever, 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 whatever. Duh. Where are you? Where are you with that issue? Where are you? Hmm? Now, even this judicial maps, whatever, whatever. Bring bring out the evidence. Let's see somebody getting convicted over your maps, GX. Let's see. 
Let's see somebody being convicted. You have arrested that guy that imported the vehicle. You have arrested him. Let's see how far it will go. Let's see how far it will go. We want to see. I'm telling you, I'm challenging you by ACC. Let's see how far it will go. You have embarrassed your maps today. The, the country and the world over has seen your maps like a guy that was, you know, pos posing in a vehicle that is not his. Posing in a vehicle that is not his. Like he's trying to look big. That young man makes money. Do you know what it means to hit millions hits on YouTube? Do you know what that means? Eh? Do you know what that means? Is it, I think, in two weeks, this guy hit about two million hits on, on, on YouTube and other streams? Do you know what that means? It means money. It means a lot of money. A lot of money. Just hitting about 100, somebody... Some of these singers, they are getting up to 40,000, 45,000. The other day, I heard, the, you know, Snoopy Dog Dog, you know, complaining because he was paid $45,000 for, uh, for, you know, some of the streams that he got. But they were not much. And I looked at it and said, Ish, this guy is made, he's talking about uh, 1 million hits. Your maps is doing so much. and whatever. So, really, I mean, the guy is making money. And the country... That is patriotic, a country that wants to promote its people. There is no way you're going to embarrass a guy like your maps. Even if the situation was whatever, whatever, you would not embarrass him in the manner that you wanted to. You would not do it like that. A lot of people now believing, hey, your maps, your maps was just posing. Hey, your maps was just posing. The guy paid for that vehicle. He paid for that vehicle. He paid for that vehicle. He paid for that vehicle. And the guy... And if he paid for that vehicle, and if he, somebody who, who brought the vehicle, uh, whatever did, whatever it is, it is not your maps. But even the guy who, that Roderick, Roderick has been, you know, importing these expensive vehicles for a long time. For a long time. Okay. Now you have arrested him. And there are so many people that you have arrested. We talk about Kamono. You have arrested them. Look, the Kamono story, how long has it taken? Zambians have lost money eh? and they are suffering through the Kamono thing. By, by SEC in our deck, you are counterproductive. You are counterproductive. You are taking back this country. You are not moving this country. The money that you are seizing, that you have seized so far, it's a lot of money that could do a lot into the Zambian community. It can do a lot for the Zambian people. But you are holding on to that money. And your cases are so weak. You are just good at defaming people, mal uh, scandalizing people. And when you scandalize people, when things don't go as you announced, you don't come back and apologize. History acquire your maps. At the end of the day, you will draw a blank. And when you draw a blank, you will not come back and tell the Zambian people to say, sorry, we were wrong. The information we got, whatever, whatever, we were I, just excited to announce it. You won't do that. You won't do that. Meanwhile, your maps, locally and internationally, would have been perceived as a as a as 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 as, as a fluke, which is very bad. You'll be seen as a sham, which is very bad. Instead of branding this guy, building the image of this guy. Allowing the, this guy to go as far as Hollywood, to go as far as, you know, at whatever, at the awards at US. Eh? Eh? the Grammy Awards. Why not push this guy to appear on the, on the on a world stage like that one? Grammy Awards, so, so many years. Eh? one, your maps from Zambia, so many. Why not push a guy like that? Davido has been there. Nigerians are pushing, they pushing each other. Even, even, even fake Nigerians. Nigerians don't push down their people. They promote them. Even fake doctors. We have a lot of fake doctors. Fake whatever. Fake pastors. Even fools like he, at Nani, at, at Amata. Eh? Amata. Look at these guys. Eh? I'm going to see how one wants up. Eh? 
I've been a CR1 was a what, do you see Nigeria speaking bad of, of CR1? Yeah? Do you see Nigeria coming up and saying, no, CR1 is fake, what, 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 what? Akaka is here, but Amanda. Akamu to Kaisa Kaisa Kaiboneka for what you can do on Kakwa Shoka Kaisa Muzambi. Eh? You can't check, you can never go to Nigeria and ask to say, Mushe Bishop Amanda. Katushinga ni bishop, nga ni prophet amata. Is he a pastor? If you ask you to say, what are you talking about? You never question the credentials. We don't, you, you, you can never go to Nigeria and question the credentials of anyone. And they give you. No, they will not. They will not. A guy will come, a Nigerian will come and you say, I'm Dr. Chakuti, Chakuti, Chakuti. You will not go to Nigeria and Nigeria will freely say, no, 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 no. he's not a doctor. But here, Wamdala Wakamuivanda, what I'm a doctor, Mwamboku Wakanina, eh, hey, Yakushta, eh, hey, Copper Stone, what, 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 what. Okay, if you, if you, could, you can even talk about, but your maps, surely, this guy, we're supposed to be promoting him. We're supposed to be promoting him, pushing him to the Grammy Awards. Hmm? Pushing him there. You know, Mwamba, I mean, Two days after the guy won three awards, you go and 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 ransack him, start searching him like a criminal. What kind of people are you? How are you promoting the Zambians? And I'm telling you, if you think if you want to come over chinga, fimo fidein karipa ine, nde mi chinga fidein karipa, fidein karipa, andi. <laughs> One day yonka michinisha manu Mwike vati yo tayari shana 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 Ndao ndela ndafiti shinka Ine That no tayari za waloyo He tayari is not consistent I'm very consistent I'm very very consistent If there is a politician who is consistent is me Because I tell the truth I don't come up No whatever whatever I tell you If I'm supporting you PND I'll tell you I'm supporting you PND If I'm supporting PF I'll tell you I'm supporting PF Ubush kunawaleka ba PF, I will tell you why you have left by PF. I was supporting Alewe Rapa, I was supporting Walungu. Ubush kuna chingi shama no kule kuku supporta Walungu. Na lilandi repo. I said I have stopped supporting Walungu because Walungu is not courageous. Because Walungu is not putting the money where he's supposed to put the money. I said it very clear. I said it very clear. Now, if you people, but upon this, you support by UPND. It is you. It is you who are failing me. It is you by UPND who are failing me. Because when we are trying to support you, when we are trying to defend you, Imwe, you keep doing wrong things. You keep doing things that is taking away the goodwill from the Zambian people. You're taking, you keep taking them away. You keep taking them away. So what do you want us to do? Your lawyer to try to support, try to support, never wrong, try to support. Now, I mean, I mean, people are not fools. You can't cheat them. You can't. Certain things they can see clearly. But your maps, what you have done is very bad. And then, secondly, I want to tell you, for example, issue a mouse. Issue a mouse, you to admit what issue a mouse. You are messing yourself up. You can win it. You can win it because you have got the power, you are controlling this and that. But in terms of the Zambian people's mind, even those, even those who don't like PF, they will sympathize with PF. They will sympathize with PF. Some of the things that you have been doing, you are forcing the opposition to come together. You are forcing people to sympathize with the opposition. Today, why issue that statement to say, no, a council has the, uh, for adoption, the letter must be signed by the president or the secretary general. Who doesn't know that? We know that. We know that. But why are you bringing it now? You see how amateurish you are. It is part of the rule. It is the rule. But why have you felt it necessary to remind people now when there is an issue of Mao Sampa and the, this other fake 
a fake secretary general. Why have you decided to, to remind the, polit the political parties about that? When there is issue of Mao Samba, you are clearly exposing yourself that the Mao Samba thing is your architect, is your act, and you want everything to fall into that, which is quite unfortunate, which is quite unfortunate, because we know already that this is the rule. So if you are smart politicians, you don't even talk. If you are smart politicians, you don't even talk about that. You just leave it. You just leave it. You don't have to talk about it. But you are clearly exposing ECZ. Just like ECZ was exposed during the time of Malangi and Boman Lusambozi by election. They were exposed. A lawyer for ECZ who is not supposed to talk started talking. ECZ started issuing statements which are not supposed to be issued by ECZ. And you are doing the same on this instance. So, Mane, in an army papat, with what I've said, you are looking, ah, this guy, where is he now? Yeah, where is he? Uh uh. If I need to help you, I need to tell you the truth. I need to tell you the truth. If I'm going to be a praise singer, singing, hey, hey, everything is okay, yeah, 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 even that, even that, then I'm not helping. Then I'm not helping. And, and that is not the kind of help that I want to give. I don't want to give fake. I don't want to, to, to praise, 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 praise. No, 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 that is not me. I want to tell you the truth. I will tell you the truth. And hopefully you can work on that. There is a lot that is currently going on. There is a lot that we can talk about. In the negative. But we are refraining. That's why Mumune Muna sometimes. Nde karazi. Nde karazi. Nde tinokulanda. Sometimes. Ya na ibuera mu. Na senda feria shia kwa mu izukanji. Sometimes. Shan shan. So. Ah. Milo. I will be talking about this guy. The suicide guy. I will be talking about marital issues. But there are issues every day that I see in the papers, that I listen on the news, that I see on social media, which I will be talking about every day. And I know you can think to say, no, no, no. If he starts talking, we'll send him to jail. I'm a politician. I'm a politician. Sending me to jail, you are just giving, you are just enriching my CV. A politician who has been arrested so far like me. I brag. I talk about it. I've been arrested nine times since UPND came into power. When I go out there and the people ask me, you am a politician. Oh, you are a politician? Yes, my political party is small. But I make things happen in Zambia such that I have been arrested nine times since UPND came into power. It is part of my CV. Going to jail. Mandela, when you talk about Mandela, Mandela was in prison for 27 years. Do you think people laugh at that? Do you think people laugh at him? Politicians brag going to jail. Even Bahaka in the Ichinema. He brags about going to jail. I was in Chim I was I was incarcerated for 128 days. He talks about it. So how can I be that foolish to fear jail? I'm not like a potop sendanawalungu. Pantwenawalungu valatina. Valungo ba kwata kofe ida carriage, na ba kwata fe carriage ati ah chibe chibe. Not ukulanda fe ah because ukulanda fe it's one thing to say ah I'm ready to die and whatever whatever I'm ready to die. Wa wake up kuwendo wa ekara. Ah I'm ready to die. I'm ready for anything. But wa wake up kuwendo wa ekara. No mdala. I'm ready to die. Ine longa ba I'm ready to die. Muna muna mwa lo kumwa. Gana anda I'm ready to die. Vale sapano washinguruka. I'm ready to die. She let in up. But it's a washing look. Kirk it in pinyam 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 to my jacket device. Kirk it name footage to my monopo wash it. Kirk it in me chakam dala. Bang conka. Tayadi. Eh, Kulanda at him. So, Napa Pata. In a Napa, but then Papa. Therefore, I'm twenty twenty six. By each name of a capite. So that if you are done, pide free. Kuti fia pia, awa nitubaka diyelo katumatumamu lefuna le miyeva. Efo ndefuwa. 
If you are being fired, no matter if you are rich, if you are rich, what you are doing, if you don't check yourself, mukaya, and you want me to go with you, ah, we na kana, ne ishiri kunshwa chimpwe na, ah ah. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.